So we're gonna have to create an exchange, and we're gonna see what's going. What the? What? What? Say what? Screw! It. I want the fucking lava outfit. Oh, I have to buy art with rune coins. I'm assuming rune coins are like. Uh, is that a currency I have to pay for? Because if so, I'm going to be very angry. I'm going to be very angry. I don't like microtransactions in games. Especially ones that already have other things that pay for them, such as memberships. I don't fucking like microtransactions. Well, this is just a banker. Okay, so where the hell is the actual exchange, the grand exchange? Where are the people that sell things? Because they have to be here somewhere. Here they are, a Grand Exchange Clerk. So we just walk up to the Grand Exchange Clerk, and I suppose we'll... Uh, 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 fuck. Okay, I gotta actually talk to these bastards. The Grand Exchange Tutor. You know, I kind of already get what the Grand Exchange is. I most certainly can, but you'll get more complete and entertaining information if you speak with Brooks and Burson, who's standing to my side. Um... Uh, fine, we'll get the more entertaining thing, I guess, since this is supposed to be entertainment. My name is Miles. Would you like to learn about banknotes? Not particularly, but sure, why not? Oh my god. Okay. This is not entertaining information. Okay, I'm, I'm going through this, because I'm going to assume that people watching this have probably already, have already played RuneScape. And if you haven't, the simple logic here... Banknotes are things where you basically turn an item into an exchangeable piece of paper that you can hold in extremely large quantities. Whereas, you know, these sardines normally take up multiple slots. It would be one slot. Magic! Okay, anyhow, skip through, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now give me the basic tour. Uh, Grand Exchange is a player market. If you're used to any games that are MMOs, you probably already know these. They're basically auction houses where you can buy items from other players in the global economy. That stereotypical free song that plays in the background of every transition video. Okay, so we actually have to wait for these to transaction out. But hopefully we'll be getting them eventually, which would be preferable. I prefer giving my money to players than the NPC stores, because to be honest with you, the player probably deserves the money more than the NPCs do. For now, I'll buy the armor, and if it, and I'll just wait. It'll pro the transaction will probably finish by tomorrow, or maybe even later in the recording, later in the session. In either case, we're going to move on from this and head... Ooh, donate to the Well of Goodwill. Okay, will the Well of Goodwill give me anything in return if I donate? Probably not, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay, apparently I can't donate to the Well of Goodwill. The charity event has already expired. Well, I can't say I didn't try. Can't say I didn't try. Okay, um, what other things can we do then? What is buyers and sellers? Speak to Darren and seller north of Lumbridge Furnace. Uh, required items? Some logs are the means to acquire them. Uh, it doesn't sound like a very interesting quest. Let's do the Restless Ghost. We'll set that as our active quest, and we'll teleport over to Lumbridge to do it. And yes, it is very possible that I am spending too much on the armor. I am well aware of that, but to be honest with you... It's the most convenient, so I don't really feel like running around trying to find the iron armor. And, you know, I've got a decent quantity of money. It's not the best amount in the world. I am pretty poor, but I can make that money back, probably, using some methods of farming, gathering, crafting, and selling. Uh, I don't need to ask you, Sir Dominus. We pretty much already know he's, the, he's basically the god of good. Um... Can you tell me that? Oh, never mind. Hold on. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Are you the person I'm supposed to talk to for the quest, though? Okay, fine, fine. We'll talk to you for the quest. I'm looking for a quest. That's lucky. I need someone to do a quest for me. How convenient. 
All right, sure, I'll accept the quest. Thank you. The problem is, there is a ghost in the graveyard just south of this church. I'd like you to get rid of it. You'll need the help of my friend, Father Ernie, who is a bit of a ghost expert. Apparently living in a shack in the middle of the Lumbridge Swamps near the coast. Oh, that asshat? My name is Father Eric, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Take care traveling through the swamps. To get there, just follow the path south through my graveyard. I will, thanks. Okay, so I have to go talk to that fucking asshole in the woods that was like, Oh, I don't need to talk to you. Oh, yes, we actually can, uh, we, if we go back to the Great Exchange, we can pick up our plate body. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. Maybe. Um, maybe, should we head back now? I mean, we're already in Lumbridge. I'll tell you what, we'll do this quest, and then we'll see if the other transactions pan out, and then we'll head back over there. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, this is his house over here. Oh, is it actually leading me to his house? I'm pretty sure this is not taking me to the house. I think the game's lying. I'm almost certain that, this, that it's lying. Okay, so I think this is his house, actually, over here. This is probably his actual house. Yeah, there he is. Fucking game was lying to me. What a fucking dick. Go away. I'm meditating. Father Eric sent me to talk to you. I suppose I better talk to you then. What has he got himself into this time? He goes to haunting his graveyard. Oh, the silly fool. I leave town for five months and he's already having problems. <sighs> well, I can't go back and exercise it. I vowed not to leave this place until I spent a full two years praying and meditating. I'll tell you what I can do, though. Take this amulet. Father Ernie gives you an amulet. It's a ghost speak amulet. No way! It's called that because when you wear it, you can speak to ghosts. Oh, whoa. I wouldn't have guessed that. I really wouldn't have guessed that. Many ghosts are doomed to remain in this world because they have some important task left uncompleted. If you know what this task is, you can get rid of the ghost. I'm not making any guarantees, mind you, but it's just the best I can do right now. Thank you. I'll give it a try. Okay, let's go over then and give it a try. Um, probably should equip the amulet. head back up there and talk to the ghost, the spooky ghost, and see what he has to say for himself. You know, to be honest, I don't think we've actually seen this ghost, so I don't know if this guy's just crazy, or if it's a real thing. Okay, so let's talk to him. Uh, I have talked to Father, he's given me a funny amulet for talking to ghosts. I always wonder what that amulet was. Well, I hope it is useful. Tell me when you get rid of the ghost. Well, where the fuck is the ghost? I have yet to see this damn thing. It's in the graveyard, allegedly. Oh, is this it over here? I have to actually open the coffin and the ghost comes out. Well, apparently I used telekinetic powers and there's the fucking ghost. There's the bastard. Hello, ghost. How are you? Not very good, actually. What's the problem? Did you just understand what I said? Uh, wow, this amulet works. Oh, it's your amulet. It's a ghost speak amulet. Yes, okay. What do you need, ghost? Nope. I just know I can't do much of anything like this. I should think it's because I've lost my head. What? I can see your head perfectly fine. Well, see through it at least. No, no, I mean from my real body. If you look in my coffin, you'll see that my corpse is without its skull. Last thing I remember is being attacked by a warlock while I was mining. It was at the mine just south of this graveyard. Okay, I'll try to get your skull back so that you can rest in peace. Why is that a thing? Like, why is... Uh, I actually kind of wonder why that's a thing, because it's a thing in almost every fantasy world, that if for some reason your body is ever dismembered in any way, like the smallest fragment of bone is chipped from you, you will be possessed forever, doomed to roam the earth, a restless spirit. Vengeful restless spirit. Not just a regular restless spirit. Okay, so this is apparently the mine zone that he was talking about right here. Oh, we actually have to locate the fucking skull. Okay, that's gonna be hard. Unless maybe fucking this guy has the skull when he's hiding it in his house. You know, is possible. 
It is possible. But no, uh, it's apparently not the case. Okay, well, I don't think these guys have the skull. Something... Does this area have the skull with the dark hole under the tree? No, that's just going to lead us down to that members-only zone, so that's not where the skull is. The skull is out here, though. It was apparently in the hand of a warlock. Oh, is this the mine he's talking about? Uh, I don't see any skulls on the ground. But since, he, since there was a warlock involved, it kind of makes me think that it's going to be in the wizard's tower, but I don't know if they let warlocks into the wizard's tower. Especially people that, like, murder random miners. Something tells me that that's not an endorsed policy of the mages. So maybe not? But it is possible. If I can't find it, I'll go there next. Something's telling me it's gotta be in there, though. In this little creepy shelter. Because this looks like a very warlocky house. If I can even get into it. Oh, there's the door. You know, they're on the opposite side of the building. Okay, so is there... Is there a skull hiding in here? Apparently, I got a, a quest reward for searching this shack in the Lumbridge Swamp. That has absolutely nothing in it. Okay. Well, glad to know that my skills are being used for something. I mean, maybe this guy knows a little bit more about what's happening. Um. Nope, he doesn't. Okay, so he doesn't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know where the skull is. I'm assuming that's my quest objective is to find the skull. I'm, I'm going to make the assumption that someone has to know where the skull is. Because, if not, we're going to be searching for quite some time. Okay, is there... A, if I go to my map, is it going to actually show me the area where this could take place? In? Oh, it could be anywhere within this 500-yard area. It can't be in the Wizard's Tower, then. It's got to be somewhere. It could even be in Lumbridge itself. But I doubt that. It's going to probably be in the swamp. So... We just gotta search around until we find it. Okay, I'm gonna head down into the middle of the swamp and see if it's here, because, you know, it might be here in the middle. Something tells me it's not gonna be near this. I don't think it's gonna be near that, at least. In fact, it's actually outside the territory if it were to be that. They said it was near the mine, but I get a good inspection from the mine and I didn't see it there. It might be blending into the rock for all I know. Unless maybe it's hiding up here somewhere? Maybe up here? Or is it in the water? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna fish... I'm gonna fish around in the water and see if I can find a fucking skull. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is! How the fuck did it get down there? Oh, fuck, there's a skeletal warlock. Oh well, he's pretty easy to kill. Let's go fucking wreck his ass. I can destroy his skull. <laughs> Bind him to the planet forever. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Okay, you bastard. Get the fuck out of my way. I just want to deliver this back to him. You're just standing right here. What a dick. So, okay, so he's dead. I'm going to head back over and give the skull to the ghost, and then we should be done with this quest, which is great, because he can finally rest in peace, return to the heavens where he belongs. Okay, going to use the skull. I'm going to use the skull on the coffin. There we go. Be free. Release. Thank you, stranger. It didn't really look like any release. It looks like you just went over to the desert to haunt someone else. Turns out you can't exercise a ghost. They just move on to haunt other people. Great. Okay, so that's that quest complete. I guess I had to go talk to the guy to actually tell him. And I'm assuming he'll give me a extra reward. Yes, I have. Thank you so much. I don't have much money, so I can't repay you. But I could improve your gravestone. My gravestone? Yes, the gravestone that appears when you die. 
If you go somewhere dangerous, you'll often find that people have died there, and you'll see their gravestones. Most people have a very plain one, but I can upgrade you to a better design. Can I change my game, my gravestone? Certainly. All proceeds are donated to the Verakian Guards Widow and Orphans Fund. Okay, so I actually have to pay money. There's apparently no charge on those two statues. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need a gravestone just yet. Okay, so we actually completed that, and I'm going to head over to Varric then and pick up my armor. And actually put it on and give it a nice look. Okay, Varric, here I come. And I have some bones. I got ancient bones, which I'm assuming just provide more prayer when I bury them. That's basically the only use bones are. Except if maybe there's an alchemical use. Maybe I can use it for alchemy. But I don't care. I'm going to bury it. They are providing a lot of... Oh, God. Yeah, they provide a lot of prayer experience. Okay, so they leveled me up a lot there. Which is good. Okay, so I now have a higher prayer, which means I can use more talents. I actually just unlocked one. In fact, I might have even unlocked two. Well, let me have a look at my prayer. Where is that going to be under? Fuck, how do I actually access... There it is. Uh, I now have Mystic Will. Increases your magic attack, which is not really useful for me. And that's also not very useful for me. You know, that's also not very useful for me. That's also not... However, Charity Thought is pretty good for me. And this other thing, which actually boosts my melee strength. It's also pretty good for me. Okay, so I have two good things that are benefiting me, which will be good in my future combat endeavors. I need to wear the ring, this potency thing, because it'll actually provide me a prayer bonus, which is also going to be more useful than the ghost speak amulet right now, at least, because there's no ghost to speak to. Go pick up my armor, and see what happens. Put it on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna collect. I'm actually gonna wear it. There we go, I put it on. As you can see, it looks pretty freaking sweet, actually. It's a 10 point upgrade. Upgrades by about, you know, 10 points. And it actually looks pretty badass, if I do say so myself, as compared to what I was wearing earlier. It looks actually kind of really sweet. Okay, I'm gonna head out here. Yeah, that's looking nice. Kind of actually matches the helmet a little bit. Not really fully, but a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting some nice upgrades. I need to get a weapon upgrade soon. Anyhow, I'm probably going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.